everyone. Today we have with us the lovely and gorgeous Upasana Ma'am with us. Hi, Ma'am. Hi. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure because you're here for a very good cause. Absolutely. Yes. So the Apollo Stories book launch, and it must be very special for you because you said your Tata is your inspiration, and uh, you've grown, you've bloomed into a beautiful person seeing him and inspired by him. So doing such a big thing for him, how does it feel, and what is the cause behind doing this? This is not just for him. Okay. This is for every young girl that's out there to inspire her to come into the workforce in India. Mm -hmm. If she comes in, the country will become healthier and wealthier. And these are for those dads out there who don't have faith and confidence in their daughters. Mm -hmm. Tata is an example, and uh, the, my four mothers, his, the, which is his four daughters, are examples for all the girls. So use this book as inspiration. Okay. So what does this Apollo story tell about to every girl, as you said? It shows that you know there are no boundaries, mm -hmm. and you are equal. You will have your barriers, but overcome them. And don't lose hope because one day you will rule the industry. Wow, lovely! And uh, the Apollo Group of Hospitals is a very huge hospital group, and it began in Chennai, so that's a very nice thing. So when it started in Chennai, and for the promotion works and everything, we are here in Chennai. It feels very special. How special is Chennai to you? Chennai is very, very special to me. I was born in the city in this hospital, <laughs> and so I do have a personal connection mm -hmm. and the warmth. And the trust and faith that the people of Tamil Nadu have, mm. I think, is something unmatchable, and I really am grateful and thankful for it. Lovely. So, whether it's my husband's family or my family, the people of Tamil Nadu have been a huge support. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> Thank you. So yes, and people of Chennai do love your family so much, and they adore you so much as well. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. So yes, when you are from a different family, from a doctors group of family and then you're entering into another family with whole heart they accept you as well actors and they're legendary people as well how did you like was it difficult for you to mingle with them and get you know properly working and all things how was it generally i don't think it's just for me but i think any girl who gets married True. has to adjust <laughs> and every family that welcomes a new uh, daughter into their house has to adjust okay so i think i went through the same and uh, i think the mutual respect that we have for each other mm -hmm. strengthened the whole thing and of course i'm very grateful for my husband who's been my backbone and support yes i saw in one of your posts where you mentioned that your husband is your support and pillar behind everything that you do so that was very nice to hear and i said uh, behind every successful man they say there's a woman but yes. i say that behind every successful woman there's a secure and supportive man exactly <laughs> you quoted it right so he supports you in everything that you do right in every move of yours he is the one person who's like i will not take care not every move every move that he feels is good for me oh <laughs> you are a woman of very less words but very powerful and you know meaningful words i believe because i've been seeing the entire conversation you had with others and your points are very you know on track and it's very neat as well <laughs> thank you so much yes so uh, as a person as a woman you're very much keen into healthier life so what do you have to say for the women out there who are very reluctant about their health and who should start a very good you know healthy lifestyle what do you have to say for the women out there see if the women out there do not take care of their health mm -hmm. a their family becomes poorer mm -hmm. that's because their medical expenses grow up and then you know when a woman of the house is not emotionally happy or healthy then you know the whole balance goes out of proportion mm -hmm. which makes you spend more so okay. if a woman is healthy i feel the whole house is wealthier and i want everyone to hear this absorb it digest it and then understand what they can do to make their women's uh, health the women in their family's health better imagine if your mother was sick mm -hmm. what emotional toll does it take on you because you know your mom is out there taking care of everybody in the house yes. making sure there's dinner on the table imagine if she's sick it's an emotional toll on you now imagine if you have a daughter and she's sick oh my god i'm out of order i'm running back down to see my daughter right now <laughs> and you know if anything happens to my daughter it's not right so i think you know taking care of a woman's health is extremely extremely important yes and if the woman who runs the house if her health is in uh, is on point mm -hmm. then the whole house is healthy okay 
So as you said, you're a mom right now and I am like a little taken aback. How do you manage everything so well? You're a mom, you're a wife, you're an entrepreneur, you take care of everything so beautifully. How do you find time? I think that, you know, those values have been put uh, in us by Tata and Amama. Okay. While Tata taught us the professional stuff, Amama taught us how important it is to focus on family. And then I see my four mothers performing, managing work and uh, their personal life. So using that as an example, I think that I have great inspiration in front of me. That's really nice. And your Tata is 91 now. Absolutely. And... He's been very healthy and he's been very disciplined person all these days. Absolutely. What are four particular things you would love to take from him and grab from him and follow throughout your life? One is the discipline aspect. Okay. Second is that, you know, uh, treat with dignity and empathy. Mm -hmm. You know, charity is not just giving money and going away. True. It's treating the people and teaching them and giving them that respect. Mm -hmm. uh, the third thing is about having daily challenges. So every day he calls and asks, what good thing have you done for today? Oh. So that means your day, he makes you feel happy at the end of the day and you strive to do good things every day. Okay. And last but not the least is the sense of respect that you must have for yourself first and for everyone else. Because if you respect yourself, you will take care of your health. And when your health is good, you will make sure everyone else's health is great. Oh, that's very nice. So being a person with all these good values, you're entering into a new house, Ram Charan's Ram Charan Sir's house. And then you're being a nice uh, daughter-in-law, nice wife. And then this whole new game of film industry is just hitting on you. How was it in the initial stage? Was it good? How did you initially take off? How was the entire process? I think it's the same everywhere. Okay. And um, I think that, you know, Ram's family was a very warm family, like my family. So everyone gelled well. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier, you know, we um, grow in love, not fall in love. Yes. So I think it's not just uh, falling in love with each other. It's growing in love with the whole family together. That's very sweet. So I think that that's very important. So do you generally go with the shooting spots and all and have fun? When I do have time, I definitely go. <laughs> And my dog also comes with us. So we like to be like this one big family together. <laughs> and if I don't have to be at work, and he's very respectful of my uh, schedules as well. Mm -hmm. So we're all, we try to be together as much as possible. Oh, very nice. So what particular thing, like, uh, you know, awes you so much in this shooting spot, especially now with the Game Changer movie and all. It's a very big, massive thing that's been happening. What just leaves you in surprises and, you know, good emotions in the sets usually? I think it's the positivity and how they like to celebrate everybody. Oh. <laughs> when Ram came back from the Oscars, they were shooting for a song and everyone performed Natu Natu on set. That <laughs> just stole my heart. And you know, they, they are a very close-knit industry and I think that uh, there's a lot of positivity on set. Okay, and you mentioned about Oscar and I, I cannot stop with, without asking that. You must have had so many people asking about it, but still I want to know. <laughs> So how was it to be in that place and you know enjoy the whole vibe and witness it in that particular place? How was it? It was unreal. I had a baby in my stomach and a whole uh, whirlwind of emotions all over um, facing the world press. I didn't know what to do. But uh, I can say now that that event has made me much stronger in life. Mm -hmm. And it, told, it taught me that we are not less than anybody. Yeah. We are on a global platform now and we are ready now, you know, why haven't we been here all these years uh. is what I felt because our industry and the work and hard work and the talent that we have in India must be showcased and deserves to be showcased abroad. Yes. Very well said. And as an actor, Ram Charan Garo has put a lot of efforts. He's been a phenomenal actor in various films and every work that he does. What is one thing that you admire about him? Like... At home, this one thing I see and I'm just um, so much happy being his wife. So what is that one thing you admire? He's a great listener. I'm the talker, he's the listener. Is it? <laughs> yeah. He's was... a great, great, great listener. Okay. And you know, he comes and he does sweet things. Like he'll always check how, if my hair is set. Oh. And you know, even in the videos you'll see, <laughs> oh, is my shirt correct? Is my hair set? And, and not even for me, he does that for my daughter as oh. well. Everything he likes to do, those small touches before we go out. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and usually the daughters are attached to the father. So how is their relationship? I'm very of this topic, please let's not discuss it. Oh. 
they both gel so much well yeah. is it oh the teeny little baby and the dad oh my Fully. god he's a hands on dad and i'm very proud of it and i think most dads should also be the same okay and as a as a partner also he's very caring and you know he supports you so well even in the house like both of you share your work every household work you sh- you know take your turns so how does that work at home it's about mutual respect mm mm-hmm. and then it's about sharing tasks mm-hmm. and uh, the chores at home uh, to make a better life and i think that you know when i have to go he takes care of clinkara and uh, when he's busy i'll take care of her mm-hmm. and that's how we split our work and i think that you know we both respect each other very much that we find the balance okay very nice and the name kara actually uh, i want it's clean to- kara Oh, what does that mean? So it is a uh, bij mantram. Uh-huh. And it's a form of a goddess and it's in the Lalita Sahasranamam. Oh, okay, okay. And so my mom used to read it continuously and she wanted to name me that. Oh, but then uh, now Kara is named. <laughs> Very nice. A long time I spied name Kara has been your daughter. But you know she's a tribal girl. Hmm. So she was named uh, in a traditional way by the tribes of uh, from Amrabad Tiger Reserve. So oh. they came and did her naming ceremony. Check out my social media video oh. that <laughs> they did for her. It's something very close to my heart. It's very special as well, right? Yeah. yeah. And one more thing is you are actually a person who appreciates good work in every place. Recently I saw your post where you had appreciated uh, the governor Tamarisai ma'am. You yes. had appreciated her for her good work. and you are actually looking into everything not just you know healthcare or not just uh, film industry but also i think politics as well you're looking into the good works of everyone and appreciating it so do you regularly keep a touch on follow the politics as well so i believe that whoever is the leader mm-hmm. and whether or not you voted for them you have to be a strength to the leaders if you want good mm-hmm. to happen so whether you voted for them or not you know i feel whoever your leader is and who's in that chosen space don't pull them down true support them so change can happen true. so like that when i saw what great work mam is doing i definitely wanted to support it because what's the use of doing everything in silos if we combine together we'll make larger impact oh. and the way she helps the tribals is next level if i can do a small bit to help in that it'll be an honor Okay so is there any interest of yourself to be you know involved in the politics activity not at all okay but when someone is leading on top i want to be a strength to them and not pull them down that is really sweet of you <laughs> do you follow the tamil for cinema do you watch enjoy movies tamil movies yeah now you know i started watching no dubbing anymore uh-huh. i watch it with the subtitles okay yeah so it's like really really nice and i i do enjoy uh um, you know lots of the new movies that come out okay and uh, i'm looking forward to your releases this year as well <laughs> Okay, Hoping but, game changer to be one. Oh, it will, it will be one because Shankar sir's work. Indian also, I'm waiting. I was <laughs> like, I'm a fan of Shankar sir and his family. His family is so warm, especially his wife. Okay. And she's a huge Sai Baba believer, and so am I. And she's uh, a very, very sweet person. Oh, lovely. Any unforgettable moment in the incidents of game changer? Do you remember anything? So fun, or maybe it was a little sad thing that happened. There's Something? still shooting pending. I'll tell you soon. Okay, there's more. I, <laughs> I got pregnant uh, during. No, no, I delivered during Game Changer movie. Oh, so okay. you know, so this movie will always be special for me. Oh, <laughs> you can't forget this movie. No. <laughs> yeah, and recently there's this news of Talbati Vijay entering politics. So it's a big venture, and people are celebrating it. What's your take on this? I think that's phenomenal. He's won the hearts of people in cinema uh-huh. and now he wants to serve society and I think that everyone who as I said whoever's the leader you must provide strength to them so that they can make a change. Mhm. And um you have seen how successful he's been so I'm sure he'll do great for the, the state too. Lovely. <laughs> and as a person who is very keen in a healthy lifestyle what do you think the people should generally follow or adhere by to lead a healthy lifestyle? know what your body needs mhm so there was a time there is currently also i feel my body needs oil so i have 30 ml of olive oil every day in the morning that may not work for someone with high cholesterol or that may not work for someone else but it works for me do not follow it because this is only what works for me mm-hmm. and my body craves it and i've seen a change in my body in fact i lost weight doing uh, drinking that oil is it and it's been phenomenal so and my skin got better also so 
So all of you just need to tune back, tap into yourself, ask what you actually need and then, you know, go for it. Very nice. <laughs> That's a new information though. <laughs> okay. And one more thing, talking about the book. Why did you choose the way of comic to, you know, uh, take the message to the people? Why Because comic? young girls need to read. Young kids need to read. You know, you, uh, we are in the digital age. You know, today I'm addicted to my phone. But you know, sometimes I want to take a step back and actually read. And all the dads that are out there, I think it's, uh, they need to connect with the child, inner child in them and go ahead and read this and be proud of their daughters and push them as much or as much or more than they would to their sons. So yes, this book is available in a lot of languages as well, right? Absolutely. Yes. So what are the other, you know, future plans you have regarding the book? That's it. Just keep this book. This story is enough. Oh, are you not planning any volumes or episodes? Later. Okay. <laughs> Later. But for now, it's all about celebrating the women in healthcare. Mm -hmm. And recently there was this awareness about the cervical cancer and all, right? What do you have to say for the women and uh, is that vaccine properly... I mean, it is also advised by the government. So, should everyone take that vaccine? Well, if you're under 14, you're young and science has clinically shown, please do it. Because it's better safe than sorry. Okay. So, go for it. If you're getting vaccinated as a child, you should do this as well. Please go for it as much as possible. Okay. I'm a true believer in science and alternate therapies also and if this can help you you must do it okay so this entire conversation is about life medicine advices healthcare advices about cinema politics and a lot of other things so and motivation and inspiration of course it does <laughs> you're a living inspiration as i told you i am like awestruck i'm learning you, every day seeing you you know uh, flourish in all aspects so it is you're a great inspiration so yeah seeing this thank people will so also much. be inspired i believe thank, thank you so much for having you. Uh, you know spending your time with us thank you so much thank, thank you. you thank you